Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture. My name is Dino. It is on content focus. Um, we're going to start off by trying to figure out what the sweet spot is. What exactly does that term mean? Um, when you're working on your content, folks, you want to find your sweet spot. That is, that is where you combine your expertise, your personal expertise, your professional expertise, and the audience's desire, aka what is their need. Um, when you combine personal professional expertise and an audience's desire, that is your content focus, and that is, as above, your sweet spot. I'm going to go into finding your focus. Um, I'm going to give it sort of a personal, it says personal example there, but it's personal slash professional example. Uh, I'm going to help to find my own content focus to help you use, use that as an example to find your own. I'm going to explore the construction of content focus and show an example of developing content focus from my, my own personal professional examples. And again, it's based on my own expertise and an audience desire. Uh, first is I'm going to deal with content expertise. Um, for those of you who don't, who don't know me, I'll distill my life and career into three words, <laughs> which is always a great idea. That's not reductionist at all. Uh, for my own personal life and professional career, I, I, I believe I'm an expert in these three types of content. Um, that is media, that's a pretty big broad term, education and technology. So. Um, these things intersect and there's a combination of these three content types. You see these uh, intersecting circles on the left. There's media on the top, education on the, on the left, and um, technology on the right. This arrow points to the middle of those three circles. They intersect. That is my sweet spot. This is where my content focus is an overlap of media, education, and technology. That would be my sweet spot. So now, uh, first I did my um, um, my, my personal expertise. Now I'm going to go to audience desire. So after defining my personal and professional speed spot, I must define the audience, audience and their desire. And this focus can be found uh, in, in a number of different ways. I'll sort of focus on two. One is empirically, the second is intuitively. Empirically would be more, you know, for those of you who are a bit more scientific in your language, that's uh, more so, uh, or those of you who are not, empirically basically means hard data to support your beliefs. Intuitively is more based on your personal lived experience. So based on my lived experience, that's the intuitive part. Uh, media designers are more conscious of technology's effects on individual and collective development than in the past. This concern for identifying effects is uh, unfortunately ignored or sidelined in design and designer education. Uh, next are, is a combination of intuitive and empirical uh, uh, information. That's lived experience in our data. Um, design, unfortunately, can have harmful uh, effects. And har it can be harmful and have unexpected negative effects on individual and collective development. So as a result, those are kind of, that's the audience desire I'm kind of, uh, I'm, 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 I've come to. So my final content focus, this is based on tentative conclusions, the ones I've shared before, uh, up above, I'm gonna try to define my audience for now as follows. It's a combination of media designers and the, the, the development of their consciousness around individual collective effects on, of design. Um, so as you can see here, uh, the content focus, this is where I develop media designers consciousness around design's effects. So on the left is the circles, media designers and consciousness, and then that's where they intersect. Um, you know, it's pretty tentative and it's done pretty quickly and it does need some work, but it is clear and, and somewhat concise. And this would be the content focus definition from which I would build my CX work. Um, I'll give some, um, some higher quality examples. For those of you who may be studying with me, there are complete example projects available that I have in there um, from past work that I see that's, been, that's quite good. And it is in, in Brightspace if you are, uh, again, a student with me. And if you need more info than this uh, shortish video, you can see the book, Polizzi's book, Content Inc., and there's more in Chapter 3 on Expertise and Desire. Get expertise, expertise and Desire is a content focus. That's your sweet spot. And if you combine your expertise and an audience desire that need, then you're going to be good to go. Uh, now I'm going to leave you, my friends, the designers, the media producers, your own work. And I want you to come up with your own content focus based on expertise and desire and your expertise and is uniquely your own, based on your uh, personal professional lives, 
and your content focus is more of a, a factor of your imagination based on um, empirical and intuitive evidence. That was content focus. As always, thanks for watching. Um, do you know what your your uh, expertise is? Do you know what your who your audience is? Do you know what their desire is? Can you combine those two things into something that you find interesting and will be of, of use to uh, 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 various audiences? Um, as always, please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to comment on any of this idea, any of these ideas on expertise, desire, content, and focus. And uh, please feel free to subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content. Thanks for watching.